Euclid is SpaceX's first mission to a Sun-Earth L2 transfer orbit, also known as the Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 2. The Sun-Earth L2 transfer orbit is nearly 1 million miles beyond Earth's orbit and a most ideal orbit for space-based astronomy because telescopes in this orbit, like the James Webb Telescope, can keep the Sun, Earth, and Moon behind them while being close enough to transmit large amounts of data to Earth and receive solar power from the Sun. Commence 15 seconds and count. where we'll shut down all nine of the M1D engines to slow the vehicle down in preparation for its next event, which is MVAC chill has started. stage separation. And that's where the first stage separates from the second stage. Right after stage separation, the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth for landing on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. And during that time, stage two will continue on its journey with that third event, SES-1 or second stage engine start one. And that is where the single Merlin vacuum engine will light up and propel the second stage along with ESA's Euclid spacecraft to orbit. In addition to these three major events, the fairing halves will separate less than a minute after SES-1, so keep an eye out for all of those events coming up here in just about 15 seconds or so. Again, coming up, we have MECO stage separation and SES-1. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Some really cool views of Miko stage separation, and on your right-hand screen, you can see that the MVAC engine has ignited. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. On your left-hand screen, the grid fins on the first stage are deploying, and in about 15 seconds or so, we should have fairing separation. And a very cool view from the ground. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see on your right hand screen that the fairing halves have deployed. Now, as I mentioned previously, both fairing halves are brand new and are now making their way back down to Earth and will be recovered by our recovery vessel Doug today. <laughs> 